Hey Critical Thinkers, so today I'm meeting you in a celebration mood because we achieved something and that is we reached 3,000 subscribers. So I wanted to share this moment with you and also to talk about what's coming up next for Critical Thinkers. Before I continue the celebration, I also wanted to say I love you 3,000 and that's a reference for those who watch Marvel movies. I think it's a cool moment. It's a cool moment to use that reference. Reaching 3,000 subscribers is a big and a small achievement at the same time. It depends on how you look at it. One thing I wanted to share is there's the fact that we tend to underappreciate things. And that's something that I've been thinking a lot about these days. And that's something I shared. If you haven't watched, I made the video called I'm No Hero, where I speak more about that. You can check it somewhere in the links here, here. But the fact is that lately I noticed that some of the things I achieved in my life, I tend to undervaluate it. And especially with YouTube, because I have my main channel, Martial Arts Journey, which now is close to 150,000 subscribers. I got used to getting there thousands of views and, and sometimes millions of views and there's like a thousand subscribers every month and here we are in critical thinkers being at 3000 and when you compare those two you can get that feeling of oh it's just 3000 but then you think about 3000 3000 is a lot that's more than 300 spartans who kick Persia's ass, which is not really like a fully true story, but you know, still that's a good movie. It's a fun movie. But what I really want to say is, yeah, 3,000 subscribers is a lot. That's, I, these videos here in the channel, they, they're still somewhat small, but sometimes they get a thousand of views. And when you imagine a thousand people watching your video, sharing your experience, joining your, your thought process, that's really special. That's like a lot. Pack them in, in a, in a studio. I mean, pack them in, in a, in a room. That's like, you're going to have a packed room. But again, that's how we are. We are programmed to think like that we need to be superstars, that we need to be the next rock star, that it, unless you have a million subscribers, that that means you're no one. And that's simply not true. But but I have to face it and be honest that I have that same programming, I guess, by society, by, by my own thinking, by always thinking that there needs to be more. But the more I look at it, the more I realize how important it is to stop and to appreciate the small things. And, and the appreciation is what really Really matters every view matters every connection every comment every interaction that's what matters and I feel the more I focus on every view the more I focus on every interaction I have the more I appreciate how amazing it is that we can connect up through videos that we can without knowing each other through across the whole globe we can share a thought process we can educate each other we can challenge each other that's truly amazing, no matter if it's one view, 10 views, or a million. So even more so, that's why I want to honor this moment, celebrate together with you, and raise a toast, raise a glass, have a drink together with me, as always, to Critical Fingers and the journey we're having together. Now, with every milestone and with every celebration, it is natural to stop and not only appreciate, but also to ask what's next. I have to recognize that last year, the 2020, it was a strange year for many people, but, but also it was an unusual year for me. There was a lot of trying and experiments and a lot of exploration. And I can't say that I reached a point where I'm extremely clear and this is like exactly what I want to do and this is exactly what I'm about, but I'm getting there and there's some more clarity, including the martial arts journey and including the critical thinkers. And I want to let you know a little bit about that. I want to continue on promoting critical thinking through this channel, but there's a bit of a twist or improvement that I want to make here. With help of some people, I realized that I was focusing a bit too much on the critical side of the things. So let's say if I'm criticizing yoga, I'm only criticizing yoga and I'm not really admitting that there's a, a good side to yoga. And I understand why I do that. That's because I really want to relay my message. But at the same time, I realized I'm not really encouraging people to have a complete or multiple perspective view towards a subject, which I think critical thinking is all about that. Critical thinking is not just about seeing the downside of things, but it's also about being able to understand both sides of the picture, to be able to understand where you can be wrong and where the other side of the matter can be right too. When you look at some of the statistics and you kind of just have a quick glimpse at the world, it's clear that there's a lot of division, that there's a lot of separation in how people perceive what's true and, and each side thinks that they're right. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that everyone is right. I think that's a false way of looking at things. But the thing is, if you are not willing to admit that your perspective may be wrong, if you're not willing to entertain that idea and consider where you may be wrong, you cannot expect the other side to do the same. So even if you're dead sure that, you know, your perspective is right, that's already a, a 
bad way to look at it. You have to look at also the other side and consider, okay, where they may be right. Why are they thinking the way they are? And to also challenge your own perspective. Until we can do that, we cannot expect, again, the other side to do that. And we cannot really have a debate and we cannot evolve together. So I feel we ourselves need to improve in the ability to take multiple perspectives, to consider both sides of the matter as much as everyone else. And I want to drive the vision and the mission of this channel much more to that, to a wholesome perspective, to taking a critical look at both sides of the picture, to coming to a more or less a conclusion which side makes more sense, but always remembering that you still may be wrong and to always be open to be challenged and to be debunked or to be proven wrong. So if you're interested to promote that kind of critical thinking, which looks at different perspectives, then I invite you to continue to go through this journey together. I also want to thank you for being on this journey already so far, and it's been a great journey, and I really appreciate you being there together with me. Let me know in the comments what you think about this improved future direction of critical thinkers. Also, let me know if you tend to underappreciate things that you achieve in your life, and if you tend to always think that there's a bigger next thing and you undervaluate the good stuff stuff that is already happening in your life. I'm curious to know as always. So again, thank you to each one of you. And as always, keep questioning.